Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is dividing mixed numbers. It's real similar to the last one, dividing fractions, except we have mixed numbers, so we have to convert them to improper fractions, or fractions greater than one, and then just do the same thing. All right, so here we go. Sandra is making sushi rolls. Uh, she has two and a half cups of rice, and we'll uh, use one quarter of a cup of rice for each sushi, sushi roll. So how many rolls can she make? Okay, so uh, to find the number of sushi rolls that she can uh, make, uh, we need to determine how many fourths are in two and a half. So we'll use fraction pieces to represent our two and a half along with the quarter pieces. Let me slide that up here. So here's two and a half right there, one hole, two holes, and then this is a half one right here. And then underneath here, we're going to cut this up into fourths and cut this up into fourths. And these two are going to cut up into fourths. So there they are into fourths right there. So we can use this figure right here to figure out how many fourths are in two and a half um, um, uh, cups right there. Uh, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. So Sandra has enough rice to make ten uh, sushi rolls right there. Okay. All right. So um, what math operation could we use to find uh, the number of sushi rolls Sandra can make and explain? Well, this is a division problem. We're finding the total amount needed for each uh, sushi roll, okay? And so, uh, so let's write the division problem. So it would be uh, two and a half uh, divided by one fourth equals ten right there. So suppose <clears throat> Sandra used uh, one eighth of cup of rice for each sushi roll. How would her model change, and how would the roll, uh, how many rolls would she make? Well, one eighth would go right here, so it would be two and a half divided by an eighth. And since an eighth is half of a fourth, we're going to get double the amount right there. So when we divide by something smaller, her fraction model would need to be divided into eighths. So the total number of rolls that she can make would then be 20, which is twice as many because one quarter of, one quarter of a cup is twice as much as an eighth of a cup, okay? So uh, when we're dividing by fractions, it, it's going to be the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Do you remember that from the last lesson? So the same is for mixed numbers. Uh, we just multiply by the reciprocal, but we first have to rewrite the mixed number as a fraction greater than 1 or change them to improper fractions. That's what I was always told. So here we go. So uh, one serving of Beverly's oatmeal contains one and two-fifths ounce. So how many servings are there when there, and she has a 17 and a half ounce box? Okay, so we're going to divide here. So let's write a division problem. So it's going to be the total amount divided by each amount right there. So and we need to find out how many groups of one and two-fifths are in 17 and a half. So it's 17 and a half divided by 1 and 2 fifths, okay? So now we're going to rewrite the mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1. So that's where we go 2 times 17 is 34, and then 34 plus 1 is 35, okay? Over here, 5 times 1 is, excuse me, is 5, and then 5 plus 2 is 7. So here we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, uh, rewrite the problem as multiplic uh, multiplication using reciprocals. Do you remember keep, change, flip? So we keep this one the same, we change that to multiply, and we flip this one right here. Okay, and then we can uh, cancel, you guys. So let's go ahead and multiply. So 7 goes into 7 once, and 7 goes into 35 five times. So we got smaller numbers to multiply now. 5 times 5 is 25 over 2 times 1 is 2. So 25 over 2 uh, is the same as 12 and a half. So to answer the question right there, there's going to be 12 and a half uh, servings of oatmeal in that box. Okay. Yeah. So how can we check that our answer is correct? Oops, I misspelled answer. A N. I didn't even catch that. Answer is correct. Okay, so um, uh, it's going to be misspelled in the next ones here. Let me see if I can fix it this way. All right, here we go. So um, uh, it's multiplication is our inverse operation of division. So we can multiply our answer, which was 12 and a half servings, times uh, each serving, and that'll give us how much the total is right there. So 12 and a half, I started it right here. So 12 and a half is 25 halves. And then remember, uh, we're dividing, so we do the opposite as multiply. And then here's one and two fifths right here. And then we'll go ahead and cancel right there. And then we should get uh, 
uh, how many ounces are in that box right there? 17 and a half. So it, it's correct. What if Beverly's uh, servings were one and a half ounce servings of oatmeal each morning instead of one and two fifths? So how many servings does she get from the box of her oatmeal? Okay, well, we're just going to take that 17 and a half box, uh, ounce box of oatmeal and divide it by one and two, one and one half. Okay, and then so here's uh, them converted to fractions greater than one or improper fractions, and then we'll keep change to a multiply flip. So keep change flip, and then we get uh, that, and then so 35 times 2, nothing, well, actually, we could have canceled these 2s right there. I'm surprised I didn't. So I'll do it over here. So 6 goes into uh, 70, um, 11 times. 6 times 6 is uh, 66. So there's 4 left over. So 4, 6. And 4, 6 reduces to 2 thirds. Now, if we were to cancel these 2s right here, uh, then we would have had 35 thirds. And that would have given us uh, 11 and 2 thirds also right there. Okay, so here's another one here. So Bob has 10 and a half pounds of potato salad. This one's kind of a tricky one here. You'll see in a second. He wants to divide the potato salad into containers. And each container holds one and one quarter pounds. So how many containers does he need? All right, so we're going to go ahead and divide, you guys. 10 and a half divided by one and one fourth. Let's change them to improper fractions. Whoops. And then we'll go keep change flip. Okay, so we keep this one the same, we change that to multiply, and we flip that one, and a couple of things cancel. 5 goes into 5. Uh, no, 5 doesn't go into 5. I, actually, the only thing that cancels are the 4 and the 2. Well, that's all right. So 21 times 2 is 42, and then 1 times 5 is 5. So 5 goes into 42 8 times. I think I did that down here, yeah. 5 goes into 42 8 times. 5 times uh, 8 is 40 with 2 left over. So it's 8 and 2 fifths right there. And then so let's answer the question right here, you guys. So so um, uh, each container contains a quarter, uh, 1 and a quarter pounds. So we're going to need 8 and 2 fifths of a container. So that means he's going to need 9 whole containers because he's going to need the, the ninth container to hold this little leftover two-fifths right there. So he'll need eight full containers, and he'll need a ninth container for the leftover two-fifths right there. All right, so, hey, uh, recall when we're uh, finding area of a rectangle, we just multiply uh, length times width. So if they give you the area and only one dimension, we can... Um, uh, we can divide the area by the known dimension, and that'll give us the other dimension. So here's a couple of examples. So the area of a rectangular sandbox is 56 and two-thirds square feet. The length of the sandbox is eight and a half feet. What's the what's the width? Okay, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and divide. We're gonna divide uh, the 56 and two thirds divided by eight and a half. So we're gonna change them to improper fractions. There they are, right there. And then we'll keep change flip. Okay, so um, uh, keep change to multiply, flip that. All right, and then 17 times 10 equals 170. So we can cancel that out. And we're left with 10 times 2 over 3 times 1, or 20 over 3, or 6 and 2 thirds. So let's answer the question. The width of the sandbox is going to be 6 and 2 thirds feet. Always answer the questions, you know. If you just wrote down 6 and 2 thirds, that, what context is that in? Well, this is in a, uh, it's in feet right here because it's uh, dimensions of a rectangle right here. All right, so how can we determine if our answer is reasonable? Well, here's our problem right here. We had 56 and two thirds square feet and we were dividing by eight and a half feet. So we can round to compatible numbers and, and our compatible numbers, instead of 56 and two thirds, we'll just leave it as 56 and leave this as eight. And so uh, 56 divided by 8 is 7. And so since our answer was close to 7, then our answer was reasonable right there, OK? All right, one more. So the area of a rectangle is 12 and 3 eighths square meters. And then the width is 2 and 3 fourths meters. What's the length? OK, so we're here we're going to divide. And then we're going to change them to improper fractions. And now we do the keep change flip right there. And then let's see, yeah, these guys cancel. 11 goes into 99 nine times, and 4 goes into 8 twice. So let's go ahead and cancel those down. That makes it smaller numbers to multiply. So 9 times 1 over 2 times 1 gives us 9 halves. And so that uh, converts to 4 and a half. And then this is in uh, meters. So area is always square meters, and, and dimensions are always in just plain old meters, or square units, and then units for just uh, the dimensions right there. All right, you guys, and if these videos are helping, just let me know. And if they're not helping, let me know that too. And take care. Hope you're having a great year.